Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball Card Breaks. Today is Time Travel Tuesday, and we're going to be opening these 14 packs of 1989 Fleer Baseball. Uh, 11 packs are going to be for me, and these three packs, so these are the best ones that I could find in this group. Uh, these I'm going to, I'm going to be uh, giving away to uh, my subscribers. So at the end of the video, I'm going to come over here to my little spinny wheel on my computer, as you can see there. And we're going to spin that wheel three individual times, pulling up three of our subscribers. And uh, I will open those packs and then mail them out to you. So we're going to do that today. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, but the main contest we have going on is for the 1982 Tops Rack Pack. Now, to be in this contest, you have to do three things. One is be a subscriber. Two, you have to like this video, the 1989 FLIR video. And then in the comments below, I want you to tell me what your favorite Christmas movie quote is. Not your favorite Christmas movie, but your favorite Christmas movie quote. It could be from Christmas Vacation, which is my favorite Christmas movie. And my favorite quote in that is, I wouldn't be more surprised if I woke up with my head sewn to the floor. That is my, by far my favorite Christmas movie quote. But it could be from Die Hard. It can be from Elf. It could be from A Christmas Story. Any of those. So if you're, if you're not already subscribed, you need to be a subscriber, leave a like, and then give me your favorite mo movie quote Christmas movie quote in the comments below. Okay. If you're already a subscriber and you've already been in a contest of mine, then you're entered automatically. If you want to leave your favorite Christmas movie quote so I could be amused, please do that. It would be a lot of fun. Okay. So that's the plan. So going forward, the rest of this video, if you're, if you have sensitive ears, uh, this is may, maybe the point where you want to skip ahead because, uh, we're going to talk about what we're going to find in these cards. And there's a lot of great rookie cards in the 1989 Fleer set. But the most important card is not a rookie card. It's the Billy Ripken Fuckface card. That's right. It says Fuckface. So if you're not familiar with this set or that card, in 1989, Billy Ripken, um, in the shadow of his brother, Cal Ripken, on the Baltimore Orioles, decided to come up with something that would help him uh, stand out a little bit. And so what he did is on his card, and I'll, I'll have a representative of that card right about here. You can see on the bottom of the bat knob, he wrote fuck face. And that was actually his batting practice bat. It wasn't a game use bat. It wouldn't be something he would typically use. And so he had writ wrote that on the knob so that he could find his bat in the bat rack a little bit easier. And unfortunately, uh, he used it during the photo process, and then um, it made it through uh, the FLIR um, production, and it made it out into the packs and into the collector's uh, hobby shops. And because of that, um, the individual Billy Ripken fuckface card uh, it goes for about $20. Um, it's, it can be found readily, uh, you know, pretty readily. Um, but there are versions of that card because once Fleer caught it, once the moms and dads started reporting it, uh, they came up with different variations. So the most valuable variation is on the bottom of the bat. They have a white circle. It's been basically whited out. And that version goes for about $120. Um, this is according to Beckett. Um, I'm just giving the Beckett information because it's more of a guideline, kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect. So the whiteout version goes for about $120. If it's scribbled in white, then that one goes for about $100. Um, if it has a, um, a black scribble on the knob, that one's only worth $8. And a, one that has a black box on the uh, bottom of the bat goes for 6 So those are the most um, uh, um, quantities made 
uh, once they made the correction, was the ones with the black scribble and the black square. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the those are the Billy Ripken fuckface cards that we're going to be looking for. Otherwise, there's a shit ton of uh, rookie cards in here. Uh, John Smoltz has a rookie card. Ken Griffey Jr. has the best rookie card in here. It goes for like twelve dollars. Um, Gary Sheffield has a rookie card. Craig Biggio has a rookie card. And then um, a couple lesser players like uh, Dante Bichette and Brady Anderson have rookie cards. And in addition to that, Randy Johnson has a rookie card in here. But on his rookie card, you could see in the back corner a sign that says Marlboro, like the cigarettes. And of course, the MLB... MLB uh, uh, Major League Baseball, uh, of course, banned uh, tobacco signage um, in the mid '80s. So uh, there was the sign that was um, caught on Randy Johnson's card, and so there's different variations of that as well, where it's been whited out. So um, if you find the one with the sign, that's the most valuable. So we'll, we'll be looking for that. Okay, enough yammering. Let's get to ripping. So these um, first, I'm going to put these up, up front here. And these ones will be for my personal collection. I'm hoping to find the Billy Ripken card. And uh, we'll see We'll see if we can find something good here. Maybe something for my personal collection. We got uh, McFarlane. We're going to go kind of quickly through these. Uh, McFarlane, Wilson, Upshaw, Frank Williams, Don Paul, Lefferts, Oil Can Boyd. Great nickname. Uh, there's Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. We'll put the Hall of Famers aside. Um, then we have uh, B.J. Surhoff, Mike Cook, Herman Gert Gonzalez, Gary Varsho, Matt Noakes, former Detroit Tiger, John Crook in the Padres uniform. Look how svelte he is. And then we have a prospect card here of uh, Jim Corsi and Bob Malacki. Uh, we have uh, Tracy Woodson, Mike Stanley, Tim Raines, Hall of Famer, Kurt Stillwell. Oh, there we go. There's a Tigers uh, logo, Angels logo, Phillies logo. We'll give those to my to the kids that come into my store. Uh, we have Dave Dravecki, who had arm cancer. He had his arm amputated. It, it literally broke in the middle of a pitch. It healed up. He came back in his, in his very first start since his, uh, his surgery. He broke it again. It's brutal to watch. Uh, don't, don't, don't watch it. Uh, Kevin Romine, father to uh, Andrew and Austin Romine. Kelvin Schiraldi, Joey Meyer, Sherman Corbett, Charlie Lay. Hey, there's Goose Gossage. We're going to be opening a goose later. But uh, Hall of Famer, Gary Pettis for the Tigers in center field. Randy Reddy. There's another prospect card. Who have we, we got here? Gerald Clark and Brad Pounders. That's a good name for a home run hitter. Hey, there's Gibby, who uh, the year before, 1988, he um, hit that famous home run. Look how off-center this card is, though. I mean, that is not going to grade well. So we're going to put that in the, in the regular pile. Ed Vandenberg. Tim Burke, Pat Tabler. This guy has the best batting average with the bases loaded in his career. It's like 450. Eric Shaw, Luis Aguayo, Louis Meadows, Bob Boone, father to Brett and uh, Aaron Boone, and Dwayne Ward. So we got three Hall of Famers in the first pack. Um, these packs have 36 cards, three stickers. Um, you know, the logo, Flair, and a uh, and Donruss had to go with the logo cards. Well, Flair went with logo. Donruss went with the uh, puzzle pieces uh, because they did start putting gum in their cards in 1981. But uh, Topps sued them for uh, trademark infringement, and they ended up um, winning that case. And so Flair and Donruss could no longer uh, put – there's Goose Gossage again. We've got a lot of gooses. Same, uh, same collation here. Is Gibby. That's a much better Gibby. I'll put that in my good pile. So, yeah, uh, so Flair and Donruss had to uh, switch up uh, their 
uh, inserts. Okay, here we go. So these are different cards here. Don Baylor used to get hit by pitch all the time. Jeff Musselman. And then we got a, a quad logo. And we're going to flip it around. And there we go, John Smoltz. So there's our first major rookie card. Of course, uh, the Tigers traded Smoltz to the Braves. And we got Doyle Alexander back, which, you know, in the moment was a, a really great trade. Now it doesn't look so good. But um, it's Frank Sweet Music Viola. But, uh, you know, Doyle Alexander did pitch really well for us that season and helped us get into the playoffs. He went 11-0 and zero for us. You can't, uh, can't complain too much. There's a Socia All-Star team and a checklist. We love those. Bob Walk, horrible name for a pitcher. And we have Darnell Coles. And then we have uh, the Wizard of Oz, Ozzy Smith, Hall of Famer. A, hey, followed by Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. So we're doing great on Hall of Famers and rookies so far. Um, why is this having such a hard time? I'm going to move the uh, lamp back a little bit. So we have Bill Long, Nick Sasky, Rex Hudler, Mario Diaz, Scott Gereltz, and uh, Steve Searcy, who at one point for the Tigers was a huge prospect, but he never panned out. He never even had a really good season. He, we tried him out as a starter, and then we switched him to uh, middle relief, and it wasn't long before he was gone. So there's uh, Sid Bream, who scored uh, the playoff-winning run for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Tim Laudner. There's Hall of Famer Ted Simmons, much later in his career. We'll put him in the Hall of Fame group. There's Belliard, Bill Swift, John Costello. There's Dewey Evans. We love Dewey. Carlton Fisk. There's Pudge, the original Pudge in his uh, White Sox. Looks like it's uh, maybe a spring training jersey there. And then we have Van Snyder, Mike Fitzgerald, Jerry Reed, Candy Maldonado, Walt Terrell. Very usable starting pitcher, pitcher, usable, usable. If I was a British uh, golf announcer, I would say usable. Uh, there's Walt Weiss, Gary Templeton. Here's a couple more quad stickers. Doug Drabeck and Danny Gladden. Julio Franco, he played forever. Checklist. Um, Palacios, Edgar Martinez now in the Hall of Fame. Look how thin he was back then before he bulked up and became a fantastic hitter. Played third base, but really got into the Hall of Fame uh, for DHing. He just compiled so many hits over time. Ivan Calderon, uh, Tim Burtzis, Holman, Bradley, Ernie Riles, Eric King, decent pitcher in his time for the Tigers. Mike Marshall, the other Mike Marshall, as I like to say. Uh, there's two Mike Marshalls and um, it's Dave Parker. The other Mark, Mike Marshall uh, was a relief pitcher. He was a rookie for the Detroit Tigers. We let him go. And um, he actually won the uh, National League MVP and Cy Young Award for the Dodgers. He pitched in 108 games in one season. He had 15 wins in in relief, and I think like 20-something saves. So there's Ken Hill for the Cardinals. He was actually a Detroit Tigers farmhand before we traded him away. Uh, Dale Mahorsik, Pankovitz, Brian Harvey, Tony Fernandez, he passed away earlier this year, Kurt Young, Marvin Freeman, Todd Stottlemyre, son of Mel Stottlemyre, John Smiley, Bert Blylevin, as Chris Berman used to say, Bert, be home, Bly Levin. He's a Hall of Famer. We'll put him in the Hall of Fame pile. Dave LaPointe. Jay Buhner used to be a, a Yankees guy. He was traded to the uh, Mariners. And uh, let's see, there's Bruno, Todd Benzinger, S Steve Lyons, nickname is Psycho. Um, he autographs all of his cards, Psycho. Ron Robinson, and John Dobson. And we have our three stickers. 
And there's Danny Plesak, MLB Network regular. Uh, Dan Petrie, former Tiger. This is at the very end of his career. Gene Larkin, Darren Jackson. Hey, there's Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. We'll put Jack in the Hall of Fame category. Mark Davis, he won the uh, Cy Young as a closer. And who do we have here in this prospects? We have Lenny Harris and Marty Brown. Lenny Harris was a longtime uh, third baseman. Had a couple really good years. Jeff Parrott. George Brett. We're, we are doing really well with the Hall of Famers. Rick Rodent. Craig Biggio. There's our second rookie card. So we have Smoltzy. We have Bij. Johnny Ray. Kelly Gruber. Eric Plunk. And Von Hayes. Okay. We've got seven packs to go. And then we're going to switch over to the, um, to the wheel. And we'll... Uh, Find our three winners. Okay, so we have Dave Clark, who is the uh, third base coach for the Tigers. Uh, Dave Cohn threw a perfect game. Larry Sheets, Mike Birkbeck, Jeff Montgomery, Sid Fernandez, John Farrell, Cal Daniels, Lance Johnson, Mike uh, Krukow. I love Lamp. That's not a Christmas movie quote. That's from Anchorman. Are you just saying things you love in the room? Uh, Dan Plesak is Petrie. So we've seen these guys. Oh, another uh, Jack Morris. And another Mark Davis. Chuck Finley. Chuck Finley married Tawny Katane. And if you don't know who that is, she was the woman who danced around on the car in the White Snake videos back in the day. Um, Kids, if you don't know who that is, uh, White Snake videos were the music that mommy and daddies listened to um, to make sweet, sweet love to each other. Uh, here's Mike Harkey. There's Tram. We love him, Hall of Famer. Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer. Man, we are crushing it in Hall of Famers. There's uh, Tori Lovello. These uh, Tigers prospect, but now he's the manager of the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm going to put that in, in my, my good pile. I like that card. Brian Holton, Curtis Wilkerson, Hubie Brooks. There's Sabes, Brett Saberhagen. Man, there's so many good players in this era. I wish these cards were more valuable than they are, but they're just not. Sorry. And we've already seen this collation. Okay, six packs to go. All right. Okay, here's some more similar cards. We've seen uh, Corey Snyder, Paul O'Neill, more famous in his time with the Yanks, Ken Patterson, Tony Perez Chica, Wes Gardner, Rick Sutcliffe. This uh, 86, he got traded over to the Cubbies, went 16 and 1, and uh, helped them to the playoffs. Not that it did him any good. Greg Mitten, Mark Portugal, Mandy Trio. Um, closer Mike Henneman for the Tigers and Jimmy Jones. And uh, this is the prospect card of uh, Kevin Brown, who uh, I believe won a Cy Young Award. I can't remember, but uh, this is not his rookie card. He actually had a, a rookie card prior to this year, so it's just a prospect card. Jesse Orozco, Charlie Liebrandt, Mark Grant, and uh, Richard Dotson former White Sox there in a Yankees uniform. Oh, man, I thought that was a Billy Ripken card, but it is not. It's Mickey Tettleton, who played for the Tigers for a few years. Bill Doran. Hey, there's Eck, Hall of Famer, Dennis Eckersley, and followed by Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. Hal Morris. Um, I believe this is his rookie card, um, but he's more famous for playing for the Cincinnati Reds, and he's a University of Michigan alum. We have uh, Greg Harris, one of the two Greg Harrises of that era. Jeff Russell, Gerald Perry, and Pitcher Perfect. This is um, Tom Browning, uh, who is probably one of the more um, unusual pitchers to ever have pitched a perfect game. But um, it's a cool card. Greg Matthews, Jeff Kaiser, there's Strawberry, 
Hey, there's Cal Ripken Jr., but we're looking for your brother. We're looking for him. Or we're going to put that in the good pile. Uh, Jeffrey Leonard, Bill Buckner for the Royals. I don't remember that at all. Kevin Elster, Doug Jones, Treadway, and Dave Gallagher of the Sox. All right, we're down to the final five packs. I mean, I won't be disappointed if I don't get one, but if you know, I would I would prefer that one of you, whoever wins, gets one. But um, I'll, I will if we don't have any at all, that will be disappointing, I guess. There's Don Mattingly, should maybe should be in the Hall of Fame. There's Michael Jack Schmidt, he's a Hall of Famer. Zane Smith, National League pitching leaders. Who are we looking at? Cone and Danny Jackson. All right, so uh, Steve Peters, t- Knuckleballer, Tom Candiotti, Terry Leach, Joe Orsolak, that's the wrong Oriole, Charlie O'Brien, Jose De Jesus, Mark Carrion, and then here comes another collation that we've already seen. So there are other um, unusual cards other than the um, the Billy Ripken fuckface card. Um, here's a Here's a photograph of uh, the 1972 Billy Martin baseball card. And if you take a look at his hand that's on the bat, you can see that he's flipping the bird to the cameraman. So that's snuck in there. That was another Cal Ripken. Uh, So that's another card that is uh, notorious, I guess you could say. Um, And the only other one that's really, uh, uh, I mean, there's lots of cards that are fun and funny. especially with upper deck, they went through a period where they were just having all of their players uh, that they photographed um, do weird things. There's Greg Maddox in a Cubs uniform, put him in the good pile. And uh, so one of them is a minor league card. And um, shoot, I can't think of the player. Uh, It's the guy who um, has a baseball and he's getting hit in in the groin with it. This is the card right here, and I'm sure it'll um, it'll have the name on there. I'm just drawing a blank on it in the moment. Uh, here is Luis De Los Santos and Jim Campbell prospects, and finally uh, the brother to Tony Gwynn, Chris Gwynn. So we're down to four packs for me, and uh, I'm I'm very pleased with the overall Hall of Fame quantity that we've pulled so far. And here's a lot of uh, cards we've already gone through. We have uh, Jim Corsi and Bob Malacki. Yeah, we've seen that. We've seen Woodson. We've seen Stanley. Here's our Rock Reigns again. Stillwell. And uh, we're looking at Scott Service and Shane Turner. Hippolito Pena. Danny Darwin. Wally Joyner. Crime dog, Fred McGriff, probably deserves some more Hall of Fame consideration. He's still on the ballot. Uh, Todd Burns, David Palmer, David Wells, uh, once threw a a no-hitter, hung over. And some more stickers. And here's another collation we've already seen. Aguayo Meadows, Bob Boone again, Dwayne Ward. Okay, so here we go. Steve Jeltz. Musselman, Sid Bream, Tim Laudner, a Bobby Bo, All Star, Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer, Belliard, Bill Swift, John Costello, and uh, Dwight Evans, is Pudge again, and Van Snyder. I don't you know, like so the collations are, um, you know, obviously repetitive. I guess if we knew the card that came before Billy Ripken, um, that would probably be helpful. I'm sure there's somebody out there who knows uh, what card comes before the Billy Ripken card. There's another Biggio rookie card. Uh, We haven't really hit Randy Johnson. We haven't hit Sheffield. And we certainly haven't hit Griffey. If we don't get a a Billy Ripken fuckface card, then uh, I really hope that we get a, a Griffey in here somewhere. Uh, Mike Schooler, John Smiley, there's Burt Blylevin again, Hall of Famer, Oral Hershiser, and a checklist, Dave LaPointe, 
Jay Buner, Bruno, Todd Benzinger, Psycho Lions. I guess I'm moving my hands too much, just having trouble focusing. John Dobson. Maybe if I go back a little bit, there we go. Uh, Mark Langston, Don Robinson, Dave Bergman. I loved me some Dave Bergman. He um, came over in the uh, trade for, with Willie Hernandez for Glenn Wilson. And uh, I've said this before, but he had one of the best at bats in Tiger history, maybe of all of baseball. You should look it up on YouTube. Uh, there's Mickey Tettleton and there's Eckersley once more. Okay, I'm down to my final two packs, and then we'll slide on over to the wheel of fun. And uh, as I bump the uh, camera stand, and we'll see if we can't find the uh, Billy Ripken fuckface card for one of you. I was gonna say, I was gonna say something um, even worse, but I, I just, I, I'll just laugh to myself. Uh, there's Frank White. Okay, so here again, here we go. Finally, different correlation. Collation, I mean, there's Al Leiter. Um, I don't think this is rookie card, but uh, for the Yankees, that's that's before he got control of his fastball and learned how to throw the curve. Andy Van Slyke is Herbie. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, another Bobby Bow. Another Ted Simmons. That's three Ted Simmons. Billy Swift. Why can't we have um, there's three Carlton Fisk? Why can't we have uh, three Billy Ripkins or three Ken Griffey Juniors? And you know, <laughs> what makes me laugh is um, every time we've done a Time Travel Tuesday and we've been looking for the big card in that uh, in the pack break, <laughs> we've never pulled it. So I guess I'm just Maybe I'm just destined to not um, to not pull the rookie card. It's Jesse Orozco, Mike Jeffcoat, Tom Foley, Charlie Liebrandt, Mark Grant, Dotson, Ashby, Jack Howell, Cerruti, Blankenship, Dernier, Jim Clancy, Bobby Bowigan, and Juan Berenguer. He was uh, the fifth, fourth or fifth starter on the Tigers the year they won the World Series. John, uh, Juan Berenguer. And he pitched in middle relief a little bit too. Mike Dunn, Eric Hansen. Here's a couple stickers. We have Lance McCullers. His son obviously pitches for the Astros. Lance McCullers Jr. There's a Joe Girardi rookie card with the double flap helmet. And uh, Mike Davis, Cecilio Guante, El Presidente, Dennis Martinez. Through a uh, perfect game. Mark Gubigza, he's now the announcer for the Angels. Chris Brown, not the uh, Rihanna, or is it Rihanna? Chris Brown? Not that guy. John Candelaria, the Candyman. Buddy Bell. Ryan Downing. Dave Steeb. Mike Gallego. Milt Thompson. Ernie Witt. RJ Reynolds. Gary Gaetti, the Rat. Will the Thrill Clark and Rick Mailer. Okay, I struck out, folks. So we're going to go ahead, and uh, I got my notes here, so I'm going to make sure I write this down properly so nobody gets uh, forgotten. So this is pack A, pack B, and pack C. So we're going to go in order. I'm gonna, we're going to do three names. I'll eliminate the third name. So I'll do a quick rundown so everyone knows who's involved here. Um, we have, uh, in order, we have uh, Dave at Not Your Status Quo, Antonio oh, uh, Portilla, who um, follows me on Facebook. Thank you for following uh, Brainiac Baseball on Facebook. Jack Nelson, Patrick Tamillo, who also follows me on Facebook. Mike Myers, who, uh, Michael Myers, who does a great he has a great channel. He does a lot of uh, through the mail um, autographs. Uh, I enjoy. He's got really good backgrounds on all the uh, people that he gets signed. So shout out to him. Baseball se fan seventy five. Um, he's uh, out of Oakland, California, and he does a lot of uh, really fun uh, openings. 
And he also goes to like stores, brings his camera and tries to like uh, search for uh, baseball cards. It's kind of fun. Baseball card illustrated. Uh, not sure. I don't follow him back. I, I, I'm assuming he does pack breaks. Angry old man. Uh, one of my favorite channels to watch. Uh, he does a lot of uh, really fun stuff. Does a TTM. And by the way, he's got a great contest. If you like my contest, you'll love his. He's giving away a ton of stuff for Christmas. So you should um, at least go to his channel, take a look, and you'll see uh, what he's giving away. Uh, Ronak uh, Saraya, who is a new subscriber. Abraham Cruz, who uh, I did the – he lives here in El Paso, and we did a big trade not too long ago. Collector Holic has his own channel too. Fantastic uh, content. A lot of fun. Uh, Zona Mess. I'm assuming that means uh, Mesa, Arizona. And uh, new subscriber to my channel. And then House of Cards, which um, is probably the top couple of, of channels that I always watch every single video. Very entertaining, good graphics, um, and great content. And he loves his Cleveland Indians. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to give the wheel a spin. And then once we have the first person, I'm going to remove them from the wheel, and that person will be will get uh, pack A, and then subsequently pack B and pack C. You get the idea. All right, here we go. Here's the first spin. Boom. Let's see who gets the first pack. This is the pack with goose sausage on the front. And we're slowing down. This, this uh, does not have Kent from Kent's cards. I eliminated him. Because he did win uh, two, the, the first two contests. And there we go. It looks like House of Cards, Haas of Cards, I should say, will be the winner, maybe? Yes. Okay. So pack A is Haas of Cards. Congratulations to him. All right. And then we're going to remove him from the wheel. Right? He's gone. Yes. All right. This is going to be for pack B, which is the pack that has Danny Tartable on the front. And here we go. Very, very hypnotic. Lots of pretty colors. Wheels coming to a slow now to stop. Is it going to be Patrick Tamillo? It is, I think. Oh, it's, yeah. mm -hmm. okay, there we go. Patrick Tamillo, congratulations. You are pack B. As I jot your name down here on my notes. And finally, we're going to remove Patrick. And this is pack C, which is the pack that has Oakland A, Walt Weiss on the front. Here is the spin for Walt Weiss pack of 1989 Fleer. And it's slowing down. And it's going to be Jack Nelson, it looks like. Congratulations to Jack Nelson as we remove him from the wheel. Okay, so there is the th three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open your packs, and uh, please uh, give me your – I'll give. I'll leave my email in the comments below, and then uh, you can just email me your address, and we'll get these out this week. So we're going to open pack A first, which is a uh, Hoss of Cards. Uh, let me just make this note real quick. Okay, fantastic. Oops, sorry. All right, so we're still looking for a fuckface card, and if anyone would appreciate a fuckface card, I know it's going to be Hoss of Cards. So let's see if we can dig it up. I think I've done a pretty good job of keeping the uh, swear words to a minimum. I mean, I'm no Samuel L. Jackson, anyway. So here's Goose, of course, Hall of Famer. Gary Pettis, great defensive center fielder. Randy Reddy. There's Brad Pounders again. Here's Gibby. We love Gibby. Ed Vandenberg. Uh, T. 
Tim Burke, Pat Tabler, Eric Shaw, Luis Aguayo, Louis Meadows, Bob Boone, Dwayne Ward, Don Baylor, Steve Jeltz, Jeff Musselman, Tim Laudner, Sid Bream. We have the stickers. I'm sure you love your stickers. All right. And then here's some, no, this is a different collation we have not seen yet. There's Chris Zabo and uh, Bobby Bo. Chris Zabo is a rookie this year, for what it's worth. Luis Alisea, Brad Havens. There's Doc Gooden, Odell Jones, Gary Thurman, Mackie Sasser. Mackie Sasser was the catcher who had the uh, brain cramp. It couldn't throw the ball back to the pitcher. He just got the yips. Mel Hall. I think he's in jail. Look him up, kids. Stay away from him, too. Uh, Rob Murphy, part of the Nasty Boys. Danny Pasqua. Dave Dravecki. Kevin Romine. Sheraldi. Meyer. Corbett. Charlie Lay. Another Goose Gossage? Oh, did I put these at the bottom? <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, nothing all that exciting there for uh, Hoss of Cards. So we're going to go to pack number two. This is for Patrick Tamillo. Congratulations. Patrick, let's see if we can pull a Griffey, if we can pull a Billy Ripken fuckface card. Let's see what we've got here. We have uh, Danny Tartable, John Tudor, Neil Allen, Dave Meads, Mike Witt, Rance Molinix, Felix Jose. There's Johnny Smoltz, rookie card. That's good. Liriano, Lavalier. Frank Viola, Bob Walk, Darnell Coles, Ozzy Smith, Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer, Bill Long, Asaski. We have uh, Terry Poole. Okay, so this is a different collation. It's Glenn Hubbard, Willie Randolph, Bruce Ruffin, Pete O'Brien, Andres Thomas, Speed and Power. That's uh, Jose Canseco, 4040 guy. Froworth, Tommy Herr. Sorry, I thought I had two cards there. Roger McDowell. Oh, there it is, folks. Okay. So you've got the Billy Ripken card. Let's do a quick reveal. We're going to reveal it from the top down. I'm so excited. Let's see what it says. So try to get it so it's in focus. Took all day. And it's the black square. It's the least valuable version of uh, the card. Boo. As I mentioned earlier, this goes for about $6. Um, uh, but it is the Billy Ripken card. It is notorious. It doesn't say what we want it to say. Um, and maybe that's a sign that I should put a black box over my mouth and not swear anymore this episode. Oh, you got Bo Jackson. Bob McClure. So who was who was the card that was before him? I didn't even notice. Scott Bales. There's rookie card of Chris Sabo and a checklist. So congratulations to uh, Patrick Tamillo. Sorry that it wasn't the um, one that was uh, whited out. That would have been sweet. So we're, we're coming up to um, Jack Nelson here. It would be nice if we could pull one Griffey in all of these packs. Okay, so we're starting off with Walt Weiss and Gary Templeton, Tom Prince, Steve Balboni. This is a different collation. Pendleton is rocking Roger Clemens. There you go. That's nice. Melito Perez, Candy Sierra, Neil Heaton, Dave Valley, Kevin Mitchell, Freddie Lynn on the Tigers late in his career, Jay Howell, Rick Aguilera, Dave Smith. Hey, Mark McGuire. That's awesome. Ron Hassey. Ricky Henderson, another Hall of Famer. Don Carmen. And then we have some stickers. And we have uh, Tony Pena, Ellis Burks, Yvonne Calderon, Tim Burtzis, 
Brian Holman, Scott Bradley, Ernie Riles, Eric King, Mike Marshall. Oh, these are these are cards we've already seen. Oh, here we go. I haven't seen Jack Clark, Tommy John, Mike Maddox, Ruben Sierra, Dale Murphy, two-time MVP. And last but not least, Dual Heat, Mark Davis and Dwight Gooden. Okay, guys. Well, I appreciate that. I need the three of you to give me your um, – I'm going to leave my uh, email in the comments. I need you guys to email me your uh, your address, and I will get these out this week. Uh, congratulations to Patrick Tumillo being the only one to get uh, Bill Ripken. And uh, that does it for Time Travel Tuesday. Next week, we'll be opening up the 1982 Rack Pack. So get in there and subscribe. Follow the instructions below. And uh, you could be a winner too. Uh, Until then, everyone have a great night.